channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm joined by a very special guest. This is my friend Christine. Hi. I want to kick off our Feature Friday series. So here it is day six of Vlogmas and it is the first Friday of Vlogmas. During Vlogmas on Fridays, I'm going to be sitting down with a member of the New York City. I mean, you're basically New York City. Well, kind of. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the New York City planner community and just yes, introducing yes. them to you, mm -hmm. asking some questions. Everybody sort of has their own unique story and things that they focus on in their planner and in their lives. So I have a couple questions that are going to be consistent with everybody, but then a couple will just go on a tangent depending yeah. on, on who I'm chatting with. So today I'm here with Christine, also Hello. known as Twinkle Plans Her Day on Instagram. Can you give us a little bit of insight where that came from? Twinkle Plans Her Day? Yeah. Well, Twinkle was my high school nickname. Okay. I have a twin sister, an identical twin sister. That's right. And they called us Twinkle, Twinkle number one and Twinkle oh, number two. God. So you were both Twinkle. So we were both Twinkles. Okay. So, and I like to play in my day, so. That's so, no, that's fun. Forward. I was just wondering where the twinkle had yeah, yeah, twinkle. Well, we all used to sing little songs. We just, uh, in our history class, we changed all the words to our, to our history, um, studies and made little songs about it and oh would perform it. Well, you both like, you perform, so, right? I was an actress for yes, a long time. Yes. This so. is something I actually just recently learned. You oh, and your okay. twin sister yeah. were on, had like a TV show. Mm -hmm. In France. In France. It wasn't here. So yeah. you will not be able to find it. Well, you can find it because it's all over the internet. <laughs> but, um, Beauty of the internet. There is a, a show in France that was very popular, very popular a long time ago, like in the 90s called Promis Busy and my what sister and I first kiss. Okay. So in every episode, somebody kisses somebody and I'm like, that's awesome. I love it. It's awesome. But until you get stuck with the kid, you don't want to kiss. Oh. Um, but it's, it's called first kiss, Promis Busy. And my sister and I played the foreign exchange students that oh. had come in and, and wreck havoc wherever we go. So you were playing American? <laughs> we were playing American. They couldn't oh. make us French. I barely spoke French at the time. Okay. When I, I had just arrived in France, like maybe six months prior. Okay. And so I was just learning French. I was just picking, I mean, my parents are French, so I had some sort of idea, but I really okay. wasn't fluent by any means. So I went into the audition kind of knowing I was going to have it, but still wondering how are they going to work it into that I don't speak French very well. Oh my God. So. And they made you American. And they made it Which is which, typical. We'll just make you French American. Right. <laughs> we'll Actually, I'm sorry. That's, um, it, we were Australians. They made oh, us Australians Australian. because there was a lot of anti-American sentiment oh, at, at the, the time. time. There was okay. a war going on and they wanted to stay away from any kind of country. So can we do an Australian accent? I then? did not. I just say oh. the same. They had no okay. idea. What they the didn't care. Okay. Between a French, a, an American accent and a Australian accent. accent. When you're speaking French, it's all pretty much Oh, because you were speaking French we're speaking still. speaking French, so they don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't matter. Okay. Matter. And even if it did, the, the people there, if you knew the show, they didn't, they care. didn't care. So I wanted to start by asking you, mm -hmm. how did you get started in planning and in the planner community itself? Okay. Well, I've always been a scrapbooker. Okay. So I did love to scrapbook. And like the big 12 like by 12. The big 12, 12 by 12. 12. Yeah, but even when I was younger, like with construction people, yeah, no, like totally. 12, before the stickers came out, yeah. I was big on, on scrapbooking. Okay. So, and I did have like some sort of like a Franklin Coven, like, but I wasn't serious. It wasn't decorative. It was just putting okay. down the days before we had, you know, phones. <laughs> yeah. So it was just based and a calendar on the wall, like, oh, yeah. like everybody else, like nothing, nothing great. And then... Oh, after I had my daughter and we had to start scheduling play dates and I had to be on top of things and I had a job too, so I got an Erin Condren. Okay. Uh, my first planner was an Erin Condren and I fell in love with the morning, evening, night setup. Okay. Setup. I was, had been working in the city. I was working as an agent, okay. actually, and I had um, those regular paper planners and they were like horizontal kind. Oh, yeah. Was not working for me. <laughs> horizontal. No, I don't get it. I no. don't get it. those of you who love horizontal. I don't get it. Don't get it. I don't even know how to decorate such a thing. <laughs> no. So then I got the Erin Condren. I was like, oh, this is so great. I had a coupon. There was a coupon. Get it for only fifty dollars instead of seventy five, or whatever the deal was. Yeah. It was twenty five instead of fifty. It was. A, it was a really good deal in okay. an Erin Condren planner. Oh wow. In like two thousand five. Six. I was like an early era. It, it must have been like the first or second one. Yeah. The third one. Who knows? It was very early in on the. Um, yeah. So I had that. I had it for two years. I had two, you know, two consecutive years of it. Loved it, but it was still just stickers here and there, like that came with it already. I didn't have to, you know, buy stickers. And then I saw, I was at Michael's and then I saw my happy planner. Oh. And then I had to change. So you've been <laughs> using a happy planner for that long? Yeah, but I never, but I wasn't online or anything. It was just my own no. personal use. No, yeah, yeah no, but like, you, I, I didn't like, like go crazy decorating, but I did love the stickers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but that, like, I feel like a lot of us, 
Like, I got my first year in Pondron in 2013. Which okay. still, I mean, still feels like a long time ago, but in comparison. Maybe it was more. Maybe it was 2000. I don't have, I have no, to look back. But I have to look that's back. still, and no, and Happy Planner's been around for that long. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, but like I don't me think my big I got ideas the first, in I don't think I got the first Happy Planner, but maybe like the second year it came okay. in. I'm, I don't, I'm so bad, which is why I need a planner. Don't know date, na dates, names, Any of it. Oh my God. It's okay. That's why I need one. I need That's one because right. when you get old, you forget things. You started buying happy planners at Michael's. Yeah. And you've been hooked ever since. I've been hooked. And then I saw, I was like on this Facebook group and then I saw that they had um, a call to be on a squad. Yeah. This was two years ago. Okay. And I didn't have an IG back then. Like, okay. I did not have, didn't know what Instagram was. Like, okay. I'm not, I'm not a tech person. Like, I'm not okay. like really. But you phone. joined the Facebook group. I, I was on a Facebook group and I had just joined Facebook. Okay. I wasn't even been okay. on Facebook. <laughs> And then I saw that there was a squad. I'm like, oh, let me apply. This will be so fun. This will be so fun. This will be so I fun. I use one. I use one. Let me take a couple of pictures. <laughs> I learned go. my lesson. <laughs> no, you kind of have to have an IG. A thing. So I started the day I got rejected was the, the day, day I started my IG. Oh, that's so cool. And the day I got into the squad was my year anniversary. Your one year? My one year, oh my exactly God. one year anniversary. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is so cool. That's okay. my planner story. Yeah, so you started your Instagram because you wanted to join the Happy because Planner Squad. Because I wanted squad. to join the squad. Okay, yeah. that is so cool. Yeah. And, but that said, I love having my IG. It's yeah. just changed everything. It makes it more exciting. Okay. I know I get the feedback from it. I can, I can watch other people. I love seeing other people's spreads too. That is how I got started on Instagram too, yeah. was it was to get ideas from other people yeah. because I was like, this is a big planner. Yeah. How else can I use it to yeah. make it more I mean, effective? Well, you're thinking more functional too. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah. and then of course, and yeah. then I realized, oh, look at all the pretty yeah, stickers all and the, all the decorations. What you can do. Oh my God. So exciting. <laughs> so would you say that your planning is a balance between decorative and functional? Do you Definitely. lean one more oh, way or the other? When, in the beginning, like halfway through the, the first year on Instagram, I was decorating, putting flowers everywhere, and then I was missing appointments. Oh. Oh no! And I was missing oh, no. things, and I was like forgetting things, forgetting people's birthdays, and I was like, "Whoa, something's got to something. Right. This, this is isn't ridiculous. Working. This is not what I got a planner oh. for." So I had to change my style. So now, okay. then I took out my mod liners and I started making boxes, and I'm like, yes. every time I see a box, that's gonna tell me. That I'm gonna I pop to up a picture here because her okay. style of like the box mod liner is hard to explain, but it is so cool. And I had to do that. It was totally that's a functional thing to keep my sanity because. I do a lot of volunteer work. I'm always out somewhere. My, okay. my daughter has 100,000 things. Okay. She's teen. She's got 100,000 things to keep track of. So even though I only have one kid. It's even a lot. It's so it's easy. Well, I have friends who have like four or five kids. I think I have it easy. And I'm like, no. I'm like, I do a lot of stuff, guys. <laughs> one kid's still a lot of work. Yeah, one kid is probably, you know, is, is a lot too. <laughs> That's so so um, I need those boxes. It keeps me organized. So okay. That's how it started my whole box thing. And I was like, oh. I like these my liners. I'm gonna play. So I play. So now I just play. But it's still functional. I still, if I don't get something done, then something changes. Okay, that's <laughs> so, so that's cool. Yeah. So then, so you were selected to be on Happy Planner Squad. Was that in May? Maybe? It was May 25th. Okay. Oh yeah, your right. one year anniversary. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Um, oh my God, it was the best day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they make a big deal. About yes. It, you know? Right. The big really deal. Like... They announce how many people are on the squad. Twenty. Okay, 20. And it's a year-long agreement? Whole, yes. Okay. It wasn't always that way. This is the first year that it's just a year. Like, okay. they never specified that it was a year-long commitment. Before. Before. I mean, maybe they did. Maybe they did. I think they did. But they kept saying but the they same kept, people. They kept, yeah. having, they kept so. having people, like, let people do it more right. than one year in exactly. a row. So. And then this past year, they basically were, like, wiping the slate clean. Right. Kind of. And uh, then... But they still, they still use a lot of stuff from the old squad. Yeah, old squad members. They're like still, on their Instagram, they're still and stuff. featuring them. They're okay. still giving them product. Oh, they are still giving. Them they're product. still giving a lot of them product. Oh, yeah. interesting. I don't know who exactly. I know that they are. And I can tell oh. one. I have one or two examples, but I don't know every. Like I can't tell you who's not getting them or who. Right, but like there's yeah. people that you followed before that are still getting product. Yes, exactly. exactly. That's very interesting. Yeah, because. <laughs> That's very, that's just very, I don't know. I feel we were, before we turned the camera on, we were just chatting about some of the differences between the way Happy Planner kind of structures their, I, I hate the phrase like PR team, but like the squad and the way that Erin Condren 
sort of structures or doesn't structure for that matter <laughs> their their squad um since i've been receiving product from Erin condren it has been just because my relationship with sam so i met sam at the very first go wild in new orleans oh we have to talk about go wild yeah oh yeah oh we can talk about <laughs> yeah. go wild. that's actually when we met yeah was, the first time i met um i came here was yes, when for the go wild the brunch go wild yeah brunch. but anyways i met sam kerr from Erin condren in person at go wild so then every time that there's a new product launch sam will just email me and say, Hey, are you interested in reviewing this product? There's no like one year contract. There's no, like, I don't have to go to anything. I don't have to post anything. I don't have to have any kind of anything really. It's just, I say yes. And she sends it or I say no. And she doesn't. And I know some people are like, do you really say no? And like, there are some products that just don't necessarily make sense with my life or my like needs. Not that she actually didn't even offer the kids planner, but like, if she did, I would have been like, no, thank you. Like, I don't need to review the kids planner. I don't have any kids, but it's, so it's just sort of casual and it's relationship based. Whereas happy planner makes it very structured where you apply. There's a whole application process. Yes. Yeah. Do you have to do you just said like, it's an application with pictures. Was there like yeah. any other components? Like, a, no, there was no interview or okay, anything, any, no calling up to yeah, find out about who you okay. are because anybody like it's kind of odd. I, I guess they can go look at your Instagram and figure out that you're a real Instagram, person. But I, get, I kind of got the feeling that everyone that they they, they picked, they knew already. Okay. They had met either in person. A lot of us were at Go Wild. Okay. That's why did you meet them at Go Wild I before met, you applied? Yes, I okay. did. Okay. That's how it was funny. Go Wild. It's funny how 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 well we got along. Okay. And how interesting it is that we're all on the squad now. Oh, that's so funny. So yeah, I got the feeling that they all met us. And they have other challenges too. Like they would say they had this thing where tell us tell us what your happy planner has done for you and with okay. in like 20 words or less and then show a picture and then okay. we're going to have uh, a montage. Do you oh, remember yeah, that? Yeah, I do thing? remember so that. So that was yeah. a challenge. A lot of the people who won that challenge got, got on part of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then they send you product. Is it, is it set like every month they send it or is it it's just not a specific day. They just tell you, Hey guys, you have a, a package is coming your way okay. and they don't tell you what it is. You're like, ah, okay, but coming. every other, all, all the other squad members get it before I do. Cause I'm on the East coast. I'm the last one to get it. Oh my God. That's how it was much. until Aaron Contra yeah. moved to Austin. I okay. was always the last one. <laughs> no. I still so, am sometimes. Of course, of course I can't help but watch the, the videos that right. they put out. You're like, I want to see what yeah. the product is. Yeah. So. I'm the same way. I am too. I, spoilers always. Yeah. I hate. I can't wait. Yeah. But there, it's very structured, but we have things that we have, like projects that are due a certain time. Okay. So they'll say, hey, we're looking for lifestyle photos and we need some like um, fall photos, you know, submission date, so-and-so. And now, when, that your... do you submit it to them or do you share it on your channel and then they well, can reshare what they like? Well, it has changed since we first started. When okay. we first started, we were, we were texting oh, uh, Hannah from, and okay, from, yeah. we were texting her our products and then we had Dropbox. Okay. And, and, and now I think the next one might be emailed. I'm not sure. That's yeah. very interesting. We've been doing it the last two times were Dropbox. Okay. So, and that's been working for us, so. Okay. But then sometimes I do notice that they share the squad members stuff that they just post themselves. Uh, what do you mean? That like on post? Instagram. Like if you just post something on Instagram, Happy Planner will like repost. Everything that. that I've done, I've already, su I've submitted as well. So I don't know that for sure. Oh. I don't know that they're just taking things off our gram. Or, or if they're just, just doing what is submitted. Right. Because everything that I've seen on there that they've taken from me, You I've know submitted. you submitted. I've known I, oh. yeah. I put a lot of stuff in there. I like to give them a, a lot of options. <laughs> options. <laughs> that is interesting to hear because yeah. I always thought. I mean, it that's was, not saying that they don't. No, but, but in my experience, that's it's, been. Stuff that you've submitted to, yeah. and you just yeah. may also share it on your. Yes, Instagram. I don't think, but I think in past years they had to wait till the Happy Planner Posted did it. it. Oh. But now we're told that it doesn't matter; that we can just post whenever we want. Okay. Yeah. And if they decide to use and it, and if they great, decide to use it, great. Whatever. Exactly. And I think it's better that way. So we don't I think so too. Yeah. About waiting, and I think it's because people might have just said, "Hey, when is my stuff coming up? Right. When can I post?" Or if they're choosing to not to share your picture, exactly. then like, but I want to share my picture. Right. Like, exactly. Yeah. You should put a lot of work in this stuff. You want right. it to be oh, sure. Yeah. So how much time a week do you typically oh spend God. on like? No, not. But like, <laughs> this is something that you no, no, no. Are it's a good question. About. It's yeah. a good question. I spend far too much time. And we all do. Like all of us are. Okay. All have jobs we all have families we all have other obligations some of us are have jobs and families and school oh so it's really a lot of work for a lot yeah I have a little less than I'm I've, you know I do volunteer a lot but I have more time than most of the than a lot of the okay. people on the squad right so I do tend to spend more time on it let's say That's cool let's say on average two hours a day okay that's fine though. I'm going to say on average. Sometimes it's four hours on a weekend and, and then nothing, nothing on two on days. Yeah. One random you know day I mean? during the week. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That's, I feel the same way. Like some weeks are crazy. And that's including plan with me's though. Okay. Yeah. And that's you, including you, editing, planning, uh, plan with me's. And posting. posting it. Yeah. Okay. 
I did not know you had a YouTube channel, actually. Oh, I just started. Okay. I don't have a lot of followers yet. Okay. I like, like 800 We'll something. link it below. It's <laughs> exciting, Ken. I think... Uh, Cindy, it's also Twinkle Plants Her Day. It's okay, like, Twinkle Plants Her Day. I Cindy recently talked about how we can... Just because somebody's using a different planner than you doesn't mean you can't get ideas on how to no. incorporate that into your planner. Like, she was saying how... I feel like all the Erin Condren people only watch Erin Condren Plan With Me's and Happy Planner people only watch Happy Planner Plan With Me's, but truthfully... Well, it's, I see why, because yeah. you have the stickers, you have the same stickers, the same and if setup. you want to get inspiration, yeah. I get it. But I do, most of the people I follow aren't Happy Planner people. Like, I follow 400 people, I'd say at least 300 are not Happy Planner people. On Instagram, you mean? On Instagram, yeah. 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 yeah, I don't really watch YouTube videos. Okay. Every, to each everybody's different. I I have, there's only so much time. I don't actually. T I love watching YouTube videos, but I don't actually watch a lot of Plan with Me's okay. because yeah. I don't. I just I don't, don't have the time. Like, yeah, that's not a priority time priority for me. I mean, I love YouTube videos. Right now, I'm watching the college acceptance ones. <laughs> so what? kids are filming themselves getting rejected or uh, or, or, or rejected. Like opening accepted. envelopes. Oh, well, nowadays emails. It's all, email. it's all online, so they have to like they have the portal and they have oh, the password. That like? And these kids, they don't know their password for anything, so like, like what's my password? password? So I'm doing that because next year my daughter's going to apply and oh. it's really stressful So I'm like trying to get a sense of how it okay. is so I'm, And now once you start watching something the other videos oh, start pop all up. Of it. So now all of it's called there's no more playing with me on my <laughs> on your suggested no it's more all college. <laughs> But it's so sad these kids they work so hard They've got like 800, 800, 800 and still getting rejected from places. It's just sad. It's hard Go, yeah. getting into college has gotten like it's crazy. crazy. It's that's just eating up my life right now I'm yeah. just stressing out about that so okay so you so say you get product you work on projects you submit things you also got to go out to LA <gasps> you guys if you that. have any if you if you love the happy planner you have to try out because right. this trip is beyond is it's everything that you think and more okay well we kind of had high standards so let's yeah. just say it met well, all our high standards people <laughs> shared before it's not yeah, like yeah. you didn't know it wasn't like yeah. you didn't know what you were getting into right well like, i mean i thought they might change it up a little bit <laughs> they really didn't <laughs> okay <laughs> it was like the same structure the same thing <laughs> I thought maybe we might not go to Disney World yep, because no. Disneyland because they went last year. Maybe they'll take us some. No, it was Disney. But it was all new people. But they told so. us before we're going to. It wasn't like okay. they surprised. Like you knew last year, they to. surprised them on the bus. I think going to Disneyland. going to Disneyland. <gasps> For us, they told us like two or three months before we're going to Disneyland. Okay. So you got to prepare. Have so ears we got to prepare. Ready. Get the ears ready. Yeah. I, one of our squad members made ears for all of us, so we had matching ears. Oh I didn't God. ask for. I didn't have that because I already had ears. So I said no, thank you. But <laughs> I didn't want to put more. She was doing so much work. I was oh like, my oh God. God. So I said no, thank you. But yeah, That's we all made so stuff fun. for each other, and it was everybody got along so well. That because it could not have gone on that. I mean, oh, I can only imagine that. Go you, wild is great, but you don't get along with everybody. No, <laughs> you don't get along. There's 1,400 people. You don't get along with. There everybody. could be something you just somebody you meet that you just don't that you don't get along yeah, with. It's I, totally possible. Yeah. So I am actually that is surprising. All 20 of you like got yeah, along. Yeah, I mean, if there's great. something going on, if there's a little tip or riff, I don't know about it. <laughs> Because well, that's okay. Yeah, I don't think there is. No, I mean, okay. I like to consider myself in the loop. Yeah, but, you know. What else did you guys do while you were there? Okay, a lot of us we had a B and B. We rented out a B and B. Okay. So Stina, who's one of our our only foreign one, she's from Norway. Oh wow. She did all this work. She got a, a B and B for us, and um, she was used to. She'd done it before, okay. so she knew what to do. Like we're like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to do <laughs> so that. So funny. So she got this B. I mean, and some of us like ten of us came two days earlier, and then the other okay. five came the next day, and then. Some of us met us. The locals met us. The, 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 the last the day it started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was it was good. We were okay. in the house all together. We did a live. Oh oh, we did a live. So I think it was on my. We used my channel. Okay. Oh, my we'll, we'll find that. And we did a live for oh, that's so every, cool. with everybody. Um, we talked. We answered questions and we're all in that's, our PJs. Oh, and that's it was so fun. fun. It was it was magical. And we all. I think we're just gonna have this bond forever. Oh, I'm it sure was, you will. Yeah, it was just amazing. That's so cool. And then you got to see the. I want to say factory. This sounds sounds like a weird. Oh my word. god! It was like like headquarters. Like, I don't. Have you ever been to the Erin Condren headquarters? I've been to the Aaron, the one in L.A. Yes. I guess you. I, yeah. I would assume that you did. But it is just. Yeah. I mean, I I I didn't. I'm not an emotional person. Okay. But I cried. <laughs> I was like trying to hide it too. I was like, like oh, I'm like, so I'm like this. <laughs> it was yeah, just seeing the sign and getting there and seeing um, you met I mean, Hannah and Stephanie and her sister and Stephanie's sister. I want to say her name is L Lauren. Lauren. Okay. So I don't know if I've ever met her. I don't know if she's ever been at a Go Wild. No, I don't. I don't think okay. so. I don't think she's at Go Wild. Okay. And Kayla was there, her daughter. Kayla, yeah. And then um, 
Yeah, so we met them all and they were real people and super nice. <laughs> real people. I know, they're real and they're exactly how they present themselves to be. Yeah. They're just really nice. Yeah, that is one thing that's really cool. And they had a big dinner for us on Friday night. Oh. So we were at this gorgeous hotel. I okay. mean, the hotel. And I've been to a lot of hotels. I was an actress and we went oh, a lot of hotels. A lot of hotels. This was an amazing. Okay. Yeah, this was up there. So that's so cool. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the whole trip? I think it was sitting in the conference room in the office. Okay. And when they you know, talk talk to us about where the company's headed, the future of the company, what our role to it, product they were showing us, product that's coming. You guys, without giving anything away, there are some amazing things coming. Yeah. Oh my god, I feel yeah. like it is so. Oh, the Michaels here in New York are just like in the city, yeah, this not so big, good, huh? and they don't have that much stuff, mm. and it's just like, yeah, it's not great. Well, so it's rough. What, where I am, it's great. Oh, I'm I've sure. got like seven of them, and they're all no, pretty like, packed full of stuff. No, <laughs> and I have a Joanne's too. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, we don't even. I don't even think there's yeah, there's no in the city. Joanne's in here. Okay, so let's talk about Go Wild. Okay. Okay. So your first. This was your first Go Wild. This was my very game? first Go okay. Wild. The year before, I just basically heard a little bit about it, and okay. I started following the people who were there. Okay. So of course, you were like, I have I'm to like, go. I have to go. This is like amazing. Yeah. Blah blah blah. So you know, I saved my mind. Did my little. Uh, uh, saving tracker really. yes. every month you put something aside so it wasn't that big of a deal to go at the time yes that's the best yeah. way to do it also if you are even like they've announced now the the city and the date for next year they have and the ticket price actually they also announced did they announce the date that they're gonna sell the tickets I don't think they did I don't know I can't remember if they did it's I'll, in, I'll it's, in January. it's usually yeah. in January so it, there is you know you put a little bit aside at, by the time this video goes up, you only have a couple of weeks potentially until the stick of the oh, tickets right. go on sale. I know it's, it's, it's well. yeah, we're filling this much earlier than it's going to go up. But then paying for the actual event, you can you still have plenty of time. It's not till April to save yeah. save a little bit every week or every month, and then it's not. And for the actual ticket, deal. it's five hundred, which is not that much. If it was just no. five hundred, that's not where most of the money is going. And then you have the hotel room. Which did yeah. you have roommates when you? I met? had okay. I met. I put on on my Insta story, who's going to go wild? I need some roommates. Okay. And then people started coming in. Oh, that's awesome. And so the first person that asked me, I said, I'll talk to her. Okay. And she was like young in her 20s. And I kind of liked, she was a happy planner style. So I like wanted somebody that in the same line. Same, like, yeah, yeah, the same bubble. So, and she was very energetic. I'm like, okay. this girl's going to be right with me. So, and she, and she had contacted two other people who okay. knew each other already from like the Seattle area. Okay. So we all roomed for, and we were great roommates. It okay. was great. It worked out perfect. So that I wouldn't go alone. No. no, I definitely go with a roommate. Even but no, room. yeah. First off, because of cost. Like, yeah. it just <laughs> having a room by yourself is like, and so if you don't want to share a bed with somebody else, at least get one roommate. Yeah. And then you each have your own bed. Right. But if, I have if also I, done If I had a room to myself, it would not have been the same feel. No. You need the party. At, you're there to party. If you don't like to party, yeah. don't go to go time. <laughs> There's no point in going. Like, at the party, at the, the last day party, yeah. there, there were people just sitting around not dancing. Like, how can you not dance? No, yeah. Well, you also have moves. I remember uh, <laughs> you. Uh, so the first time we really met and talked was at the Go Wild brunch, but I saw you on the dance floor at oh, the did. January New York City Planner Addicts event. Oh, that in was you there too? Yes, I don't remember seeing you there. Yeah, that was. Um, did you speak? Um, you I moderated been... a panel. I'm sorry, I forget things. I guess you were there. I'm sorry, but I, I did we didn't really meet. Okay. But I like yeah. remember you from the dance okay. floor. So yeah, having roommates at Go Wild makes yeah. all the difference. And even if you don't, I've heard a lot where people are like, I don't know anybody. Well, you can find people. Like yeah. there is, you can find people in the the ticketing Facebook group. You can find people on Instagram. Like you can yeah. find people to room with, and and you kind of guess who they are. Like just looking at their pictures and seeing their story. Yeah, you can figure out a little yeah. bit about their personality without yeah. like knowing them yeah. in person. Um, well, I'm glad that worked out. But for it's you. still yeah, it worked out. But. <laughs> It could You're just so, as well not work out. It could, yeah. So I don't want to be responsible for no. anyone's. Yeah, if you find a roommate mistake, online and it's awful, and they stab you in the middle of the night, like <laughs> okay, I don't think that's take no happen. responsibility. But I have had, I have had a friend who had her the first year that she went. We weren't quite, we weren't friends yet, mm -hmm. and she did a random roommate and ended up. They just didn't really click, okay. and they were on you know different schedules, and okay. one wanted to go out, one wanted to stay in, and they. Well, were just, I mean, I didn't do everything with my roommates. We split up a lot. That's also true. Yeah. yeah. So if we had stuck together, I might have been annoyed with some of them because one of them, the the, the young one that I, the, the 25 year old, she or however old she's very young, she was out partying on all hours yeah. of the night. That girl was crazy. Well, it's Vegas, know. Vegas, baby. I mean, she was out, and then the other two were very introverted people, okay. and they stayed in, and they and I'm like in the middle. And so then, yeah. I'm like I went out a little bit, and I stayed in a little bit. Yeah. So anyway. I am too. It depends on where we were. When just because of my age in New Orleans, <laughs> I. 
got like three hours of sleep the whole time. And in Austin, the same way. I got, I w went out like every night and got very little sleep. Vegas, it was kind of a balance. There yeah. was some, like Friday night, we were like in bed by like nine. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it was like, that was the one night that we oh, were Oh, the like, karaoke, is that easy. the karaoke No, it was the night after that. Okay, yeah. Oh, are you going this year? To, to Absolutely. Of you course. Are. I am a little bit bummed that it's all the way on the West Coast. Today. I'm very bummed and very disappointed that we have a second year in a row on the West on Coast. On the West Coast. Just saying, just saying. Yeah, it is. <laughs> putting it out there. Yeah, it's a little bit frustrating that it, it and truthfully though, let me rewind. From a cost perspective, the flights are actually very inexpensive to LA from New York. They're are, not that okay. bad. You're going to LA, but it's not LA, the the. It's airport. like 20, it's, 30 minutes from LA. Oh, I'm not going to fly okay. to Anaheim. I'm going to fly okay, to LAX. I, when we did our squad, yeah. we went to Anaheim. You went to the Anaheim airport, yeah. So it's cheaper, you say? To Much the, cheaper to LAX and direct flights. And Really? Before from, I... Well, I like to go to the White Plains airport. Okay, you're not going to get a direct <laughs> flight from that. the White Plains airport. <laughs> I guess I have to go to LaGuardia. Or, or JFK, yeah. yeah. That's... Right. So... I had never, Nashville's the only other direct flight I'd ever had for Go Wild. Okay. I've always had to connect. And the flights have always been pretty expensive, pretty, like, pretty pricey. Okay. So yes, it's a six hour flight, but it's actually probably going to be the least expensive flight so I've ever So how much paid. is it going to be? Like 250 if No you way. It. Yeah, no if you buy way. it now. Round trip? Round trip. No way. Yes. Oh, maybe I can go. Yeah, if you if you buy LA, I was considering not going. I'm actually might do a video, a plan with me kind of type YouTube video about should I go to should I should and put the pros should and cons and yeah. let people vote. I, I I understand there are totally pros and cons, but from if you book a flight to LA far enough in advance, it is under 300 round trip. Come on, yeah. I'm gonna have you text me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll show you what flights I'm looking at. I'm so I have never been to Disneyland. So well, this was my first time with uh, with, with the squad. Yeah, so it's okay, but I'm, okay. I'm from Florida. So oh, so it's like yeah, it's not the it, same. It's not the same. By the way, here I'm gonna release a secret here. I think I'm gonna do Disney World for my bachelor party. Oh, <gasps> that's such a great idea. <gasps> I know. And you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. We have, I like. I've told like some of my friends that oh, wow. like that. That's have, really cool. That would plan it, but like I haven't told. So I you're haven't. gonna be a get have a getaway bachelor party. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All of my most of my friends are all over the place anyways. Okay. So like. Everybody's got to go somewhere and like, I mean, they could all come here, but like, it's just, let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere warm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, exactly. I agree. Let's go in the middle of winter. <laughs> we have a couple of months forward. of hell coming up, don't we? Yeah. Oh, so I haven't, the reason I haven't booked a flight yet is because I haven't decided if I'm going to go Tuesday night so that I can have all day Wednesday at okay. Disney. So what do you get out of Go Wild now that you've already been a lot of times? You don't yeah. go for the swag. I, oh, I definitely don't. Yeah, I didn't swag. bring, in fact, I like thing, don't even want I didn't bring swag. anything home. And that anything? was my first, I didn't bring anything, I left it all at the, well actually that's not true. I did bring the box, the Michael's box, and full of the stuff inside. Oh, okay. I brought that home, but I ended up not using it and gave it all away. Okay. So I didn't keep anything, let's just reword word that. I didn't keep anything. Anything. Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't. Except I, for my Happy Planner hat. Oh. And the Happy Planner Did you sat at the Happy Planner table? Yeah, I yeah. that had to. <laughs> yeah, I kept, I definitely kept all my table stuff. Cause I picked, uh, I sat at the Chrissy and Designs table and like okay. I picked that on purpose and I kept a couple of the other things, but oh, same, I'm not yeah. going for the swag. The biggest reason But when I, I go, went first, I went for the swag. I gotta say. That was one of the reasons. That was one of the reasons. A big reason was for the swag. That was like what because inspired Harry you Swap to go. had given Sil oh, minx. the minks and I was like, wow. Yeah. I actually <laughs> gave that away too. I was like, I don't even know. I got someone gave, it, gave, oh, gave me theirs from your party. Oh my God. Diana. Oh, Diana. that's so sweet. She gave me her. Oh she sent it to me. She didn't even get. She sent. She it. mailed it. To she you. mailed it to me. Wow, that's very sweet. It's, it's so cool. So you were. You initially were drawn to go wild for the swag. Yes, I was. But now, if I go back, it's for the people because now all my squad. Friends exactly. Are there. That is the biggest reason that and I you, go. That would be ten times better this year than last year. Because you would like. I go to see all the people that I don't yes. see all the time. Right. Until like we're right. in that kind of place. Right. Um, but one of the squad members is having a reunion in March. Okay, in so where? I'm in Seattle. That's far. Okay, but also so I gotta choose. I just went to Seattle. I know it's a great place. That... For like, uh, also like two hundred and seventy round trip tickets. No. Yes, I just went in September. How do you get these deals? Every time I look, it's like four hundred, five hundred. I was like, uh. Oh. In, and I got my kid away. needs my kid needs tutoring and this and <laughs> that's tutoring <laughs> <Yeah>. Seattle. <laughs> I know. Okay, we'll, we need to talk about flights because okay. I definitely did right. not pay. And I booked them in like May for September. Okay. And I paid I like have to, $270. I have to get off work first. I mean, that it's not is just that. No, yeah. The work, work, jobs and work is a problem. Yeah. What do you do for your I'm a teacher. Oh, that's right. And my spring break is right before Go Wild. 
So I have so a whole week work. off before, and mm-hmm. then I have to take days. And you off have to after. take days. Yeah. I know. So I, that's I'm really on the fence about it. That is that is a fair struggle. Yeah. I feel like I already took teachers. for squad. I already took two days off for squad, and then my stepson's getting quarter. married. Well, still <laughs> last quarter. I love it. If we go by the year, and my stepson's getting married in November, so I have to take a day off for that. Okay. It's just a lot. It is hard. I. I also have limited vacation, obviously, with a nine to five, but because it's a nine to five, like I could take the day off and nobody like suffers. Oh yeah, I, yeah. nobody suffers if I take the day off either. <laughs> you don't feel like a sub? No. Well, you we do. have sub. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but it's not. I have like a co-teacher who's going to be there. Oh okay. And then a sub. What do you teach? I teach preschool. Oh, I, know. I do. They're oh, cool. They're cute. so cute. So trust me, they forget like in two days. <laughs> that like, oh, you were out. Oh, you were yeah. gone. I don't even You're know. Out. <laughs> I mean, two or three will really care that I'm gone, and that's it. <laughs> okay. So okay, that's different because I feel like in like high school, like the teachers never wanted to miss. Like a high school teacher never wants to miss. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, it's true. I don't want my daughter to miss school either. Even for this wedding, I'm like, do we have to like take her out of take school, her out of school for her brother's Monday? wedding? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I know it's bad. Um. So that, that definitely is a fair point with Go Wild is taking the time off of work. And so it's like, so yeah. So you ask, like, I go back for the people really more yeah. so than anything. I'm not going for the swag. Sometimes I'm going for the speakers. It depends on who mm-hmm. is speaking. I didn't find the spe- The speakers were good, but they weren't $500 good. I <laughs> I have to agree. I think especially a lot of them were duplicates from prior years. And I'm sure that though. happened too. Yeah. So that why I was like... Yeah. Whoa. Um, how are they going to get? There's only so many people. Right. I'm trying to that think. pull in a crowd. Who know. this year? I mean, Terry Ellis ended up blowing me away this she year. She was amazing. Terry she Ellis. She was amazing. She was great. It's, I loved it, but $500? No, yeah. That's that's another story. I But, like, there's always, I feel like every year there's been she was one great. person. She was so entertaining. She also just yeah. related to us. Yeah. Like she very much, she was like, here's my craft room. And, and I love the like, craft room, pictures of her craft room. And she was oh, talking about going to Michael's and yeah, how she like, she's a normal person. You guys are buying all this stuff. I can't find what I need. I can't even get my stickers. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's like a planner girl. Like she, yeah. she said things that made us feel like. Well, we were laughing. It was great. Yeah. Like we were on the same page. So that was cool. Um, they haven't announced any speakers yet for this year. Well, maybe by the time the video goes yes, up, they no, will have. And they will announce them all by the time tickets go. Yes, go they on. always announce by the time tickets go on sale. Sometimes, actually, maybe they'll announce, like, the week of ticket sales to, like, get you pumped about tickets going on sale. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I'm sure. All right, I have two other questions that I want to ask everybody. The first one is we talk a lot about goal setting here on my channel. Okay. And I just wanted to ask if you have any sort of goal setting method. Do you, like, okay. do you have a... System. Excellent question. And goal setting is an issue that I have. Okay. I don't set goals. Okay. Uh, it's bad. It's horrible. It's probably why I'm going to be stagnant my entire <laughs> life. Um, I had goals when I was younger. I wanted to be on TV. I wanted to be an actress. And I, you know, they were great. I did it. Fantastic. Great. Now I really don't have any. I mean, then my goal was to be on the squad. Which I did have that, that goal. Right. You I did have, have that, that goal. goal. That was a goal. And since then, I really don't have any. Okay. I mean, I have to, I really have to start focusing and start getting goals, but I'm not the best at goal setting. Okay. So no, that's, that's the fair. short answer. Yeah. I mean, I'm bad at goal setting. I'm just not as ambitious as I used to be. Which, it sounds like you achieved a lot in your younger yeah, years. Yeah, so I feel but like... But it took a lot out of me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, let's relax a little bit. Yeah. Let's I mean, enjoy... You did have a goal to get on the squad. Yeah, I'm happy. And that was that. Cool. And my goal is to do as best I can while um, while I'm on it. Okay. So that's and your goal right now. That's a goal. On. It's not something I'm writing out and... and, and, and you know, tracking, tracking and tracking. Yeah. yeah, I'm not tracking that. All right. And then the last question that I'm asking everybody, because this is Vlogmas, what is your favorite thing about the holiday season? Oh, oh I have a lot of things. Okay. okay that's okay. I love to decorate. Okay. I love decurating the house. I love okay. putting up the When do you start decorating? I de- decorate December 1st. Okay. And not a day before. Ex- no matter what day. No matter. It nope. It's December 1st. If it's Monday, that will be Monday. Interesting. This year is a Sunday, actually. Okay, then it will definitely go up on December 1st. Right? Okay, yeah, it's easy. It's like... Yeah, I cannot do a November. I do not like celebrating Christmas before Christmas. <laughs> I understand that. A I month, feel 25 like... days is enough for me. Okay. I've always been very pro, like, the weekend after Thanksgiving. So, okay, like, it's still not technically not November, but... It, you but get it's Thanksgiving's done. over. Well, I clean my house. I clean my house to start decorating. Okay. So that's the weekend I clean my house. And then, and then you can start December decorating 1st, on December 1st. It's done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and it's when do you take them down? Uh, sometimes it's the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, it's the day uh, after day Christmas? Uh, no, I'm sorry. The day after New Year's. Okay. It's the day after. The, like January New Year's 2nd. Day? Oh, January 2nd. Yeah, okay. January 2nd. Okay. Uh, but it has to be done right away or else it's going to be. I know that it would be up all January so, if I didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, until February. Yeah. I'm good about We get it in 20 minutes. 20 minutes the tree goes up, 20 minutes the tree goes down. It's really easy. 
What? I have an artificial tree. I don't. Okay. I don't go the real tree because my telling my husband and Nagi, my husband put up a tree. A real tree is way harder than putting doing it yourself than dragging it from the basement right. and doing it yourself. So I've timed it. I've got it down. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes to get the tree up. And then what other, but th there's going to be other things you decorate too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. the reeds, but everything is so set. Like I know what goes where. It's up, right. Up, it goes up, in the same place. It goes very year. quickly. Yeah. yeah. It also doesn't take me that long to decorate too, you know, because I live like in a shoebox. <laughs> it takes like three seconds. I have like three things that I put up. I'm like, okay, I'm done. All right. Well, those are all my questions. Thank you so much for hanging out with me oh, today. Oh, thanks for having this me. It's so much so fun. fun. This is so much fun. So I will link all of her Instagram and YouTube and Happy Planner Rainbow. She she does a lot of rainbow. A lot of rainbow. It, there's a lot of rainbow <laughs> inspiration in her <laughs> world. So definitely go check her out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I normally upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and every day here during Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. Bye. To our Friday, our feet, uh, that was wrong. Okay. And during Fridays, not during Fridays. You can edit that one out. Yeah. <laughs> so that you can edit. Do they announce the ticket date? The, 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 um, I don't know, something about the wild. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that part out. Oh yeah, go wild. It's not. It's not East Coast. Who knows? It's not East Coast. Yeah, I need a better outro than that. Like, oh, no, no, no.